ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਟੂਡੋ ਨੇ ਐਲਾਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਫੈਡ ਦੇ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਫਾਈਜ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ 8 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡੋਜ਼ ਮੁਹੱਈਆ ਕਰਾਉਣ ਦਾ ਸਮਝੌਤਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਟੂਡੋ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮਈ ਵਿੱਚ 80 ਲੱਖ ਅਤੇ ਜੂਨ ਵਿੱਚ 12 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਖੁਰਾਕਾਂ ਹੋਰ ਮੁਹੱਈਆ ਕਰਵਾਈਆਂ ਜਾਣ ਗਿਆ ਇਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਵੈਕਸੀਨ ਦੀ ਅਗਲੀ ਰਣਨੀਤੀ ਬਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਚਰਚਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਸ ਟੂ ਫੇਸ ਐਨ ਇਨਕ੍ਰੈਡੀਬਲੀ ਸੀਰੀਅਸ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਥਿਸ ਥਰਡ ਵੇਵ ਕੇਸਸ ਆਰ ਰਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਰੈਪਿਡਲੀ ਇਨ ਮੈਨੀ ਕੇਸਸ ਇਨ ਮੈਨੀ ਪਲੇਸਸ numbers are higher than they've ever been before and far too many hospitals are stretched way too thin in toronto in particular numbers are breaking record after record as and icu hospital beds are filling up there's no doubt that canada's largest city is struggling under the weight of this third wave so we're going to do whatever it takes to help on vaccination in particular ontario has reached out for more support I can tell you today that we are standing by to deploy the Canadian Red Cross to help with their mobile vaccination teams. This is about getting doses to people where the situation is most serious. And we'll also continue to help on a whole range of other fronts too. Discussions are ongoing about extra healthcare providers and we are ready to step up. We're also we've also already deployed mobile health units that set up more hospital beds in Toronto. and Hamilton. For Ontario, we've shipped out more healthcare equipment like oxygen units and drugs to treat COVID-19. We have approved a request to have the Canadian Red Cross deployed in up to 27 long-term care homes as needed. We're supporting safe isolation sites everywhere from Toronto to Peel to Thunder Bay. And we have deployed 300 contact tracers doing thousands of calls a day for ontario and lab support which has already processed over 15000 samples so far yesterday i spoke with mayor cromby of mississauga mayor tory of toronto and mayor brown of brampton we talked about what's going on in the gta and what that means for hospitals schools and small businesses We also talked about the fact that this is a moment when we all have to work together to flatten the curve while getting vaccines into arms as quickly as possible.